Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about types of seismic waves. This will be the fourth quarter topic on learning competency number 7. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. Objectives. By the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to identify the different types of seismic waves The second one is to participate in hands-on activities or simulations to visualize the motion and behavior of seismic waves And the third one is to appreciate the importance of understanding seismic wave behavior in the field of seismology and earthquake monitoring by answering the reflection of learning. In activating the prior knowledge, for the short review, the students will decode the mystery word. So the learners will decode the mystery word by altering the numerical value with the vowels assigned to them. The following are the introduction to seismic waves. Seismic waves are vibration that travel through the Earth's interior and surface generated by earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or other disturbances. By studying seismic waves, scientists gain insights into the Earth's composition, structure, and physical properties. The following are the body waves such as the P waves and the S waves. So P waves, it is called as the primary waves, are compressional waves that travel through solids, liquids, and gases, causing particles to move back and forth in the direction of the propagation. While the S waves or the secondary waves, it is a shear waves that travel only through the solid and it causing particles to move per perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. The following are the surface waves such as the Rayleigh waves and love waves. So Rayleigh waves are surface waves that travel along the Earth's surface, causing a rolling motion like ocean waves, while the love waves are surface waves that travel along the Earth's surface, causing a side-to-side -side motion similar to a snake moving. The following are the characteristics of P waves and S waves. So P waves travel faster than S waves and they are compressional waves and they can travel through all states of matter. While the S waves travel slower than the P waves and they are shear waves and they can only travel through solids. The following are the differences between the body waves and the surface waves. So body waves, they travel through the Earth's interior, arriving first at seismic stations. While the surface waves, it travels along the Earth's surface, arriving later and causing the most damage during the earthquake. The following are the factors affecting seismic wave propagation.
The following are the applications of seismic wave analysis. So the first one is the earthquake prediction. So monitoring seismic activity to predict and to mitigate earthquake rest. The second one is resource exploration. So mapping underground structures for oil, gas, and mineral exploration. And the last one is volcano monitoring. So analyzing seismic waves to understand the volcanic activity and potential eruptions. The following are the conclusion and key takeaways. For the work example, the learners will try to match the description with the correct figure.